Welcome back to my channel guys. Tonight the race is finally over. Uh, I finished fifth in my team. I think I had like 39,000 points or 38.8, something like that. Uh, yeah, I get a rank for 85 laps. We came in fourth place, I think, so I'm not sure what we get overall, but I am leaving my team now. All right, so I'm now a free agent in Monster Legends. Uh, I do not have a team. I will be looking for an 85 lap team. If I can't find one, I will be making my own team, which most likely will be nowhere near. It will be hopefully 10 laps if I make my own team. Uh, I went ahead and I did what I told you guys I was gonna do with PVP. Um, it was kind of interesting what I found when I went over the rankings. I found out that out of the top 25, 14 of the teams are, or 14 of the players are over a 50% win rate on uh, defense. And then I found out that the lowest uh, win rate is a 35.9% in uh, the top 25. And then the highest is a 73.2%, making the average like 54.3%. Um, but what I want to go over is the five highest, which I will be keeping an eye on on the last day of season. We st we're only halfway through the season, so a lot can change by then, but I just wanna, I like, I'll do this one more time so that I can get more names as I get closer to the end, but uh, I'll go and I'll start with the best to the worst of the top five. Um, the best one is this Ahmad Rod Husin guy, which is an armors team, um, but he, his defense is like his defense is well higher percentage than everyone else's like he's at 73.2 percent wins on defense uh, where I get that number guys is, is you just take how many times they've won and you divide it by how many times they've lost uh, and then why don't you check him out? He he's definitely decked, but and again he's also using uh, Hardy, which I think is definitely top shelf monster. Um, I would argue that it's better and more important to the meta than Vanos, but we'll see as the days come. Vanos is definitely a whole nother monster at 150 decked with strength runes than he is down at 130, where I've been able to beat him and play against him. Uh, so, you know, taking my advice, you're taking that from a lower spectrum of the PvP. I'm nowhere near any of these top 100, so when I say that something like Vanos is overrated, it doesn't necessarily mean that I'm right, because some players that have resources I don't have can make Vanoses that I can't even imagine. So, like, I think most of the Vanoses that I've seen in the top 100 are somewhere around 70k power and then with their team speed some of them can be over 17,000 speed so yeah th that's that's beyond overrated that's overpowered uh, all right so moving along uh, now you got to look at his defense which we'll be checking back on the last day of season on that guy and see what he's doing because we want to be able to use this information so right now it's not a big deal we just you know kind of take a glimpse at it and to see like yeah he's got a hardy on there that's cool uh the next one I, they're not actually in number order they're just in order by which one scores the highest on defense is this michael guy uh and he is using santa now whenever i see a tank that's not day i like to look down and make sure they have day and he does have day so you guys keep in mind that that means he's choosing to run a legend over a mythic for a reason, for a purpose, and it's most likely because of the trait. But uh, I'll go over his guys again. This, that makes two of them that have uh, Londrod, which uh, Res Block is on the way. Uh, I do not have a move sheet for the newest monsters. Uh, when I get them, I'm going to do a video of going over them because I definitely think that that Kodama is worth my going over. Uh, it's got me mind blown. I can't wait for it to show up. Everybody's getting one. It's a maze monster. It's going to be going to be a blast. It's going to be interesting to watch it shape up the meta. All right, so there's that guy. Uh, his win rate was 68%. Um, the next one is this bashed guy or bash ed, which is kind of funny because my name's ed, if that was how it was meant to be. 
Uh, and his defense is looking similar to the one we've seen in first, where uh, they have Brutalizer. Um, I think that might be the only thing that was similar about him, though. Uh, but he's got a 13,000 speed Vanos. How much strength was it? 55. Yeah, it's crazy, guys. But uh, he's at a 64.9% win rate. And then the last one I'm going to go over is a 64.6% win rate. And it's by the guy Nugget. Where is Nugget? And Nugget, I've usually seen his name at the top of the list. Uh, he's using a defense that I've seen a couple of times now. Uh, and I actually think that this defense is pretty clever because, you know, it would be really rough to try and beat this without Revive. I think Revive is your only answer to this defense. And I think it's kind of funny that as soon as I see a defense where the only answer to it is Revive, that Res Block is on the way. <laughs> so to me, that definitely leaves it to where, like, I can't even imagine an unbeatable team. I think every team has weaknesses, and since you're going into blind fights, there's just going to be losses everywhere. Uh, and since there's going to be losses everywhere, that's why I don't think there's a such thing as pay to win in this game. Because uh, if there was a pay to win in this game, this guy would have 342 defense wins out of 342 times being attacked. Or he would have 128 wins out of 128 attacks, which I'm sure he could, but he's got three losses. Um, anyway, this guy, he, I mean, his record is pretty, pretty sweet. It's not like he's done a whole bunch, but he's definitely got some really high percentages here on both. Attacks and defense, so you can learn a lot from what they're using. Uh, and again, we see like Santa, and I'm going to go down and make sure that he's got day, and he does. He's got a max day, okay? So there's these people are not choosing to run legends just because, okay? They're, they're choosing to run legends because they're doing more in the meta than day is doing. Day is a done raw, okay? He's a mythic done raw, meaning as long as you purr away his mega taunt, you've got him back to nothing. They can't revive him and give him taunt again. They need a turn to put it up, and by then, they could be already dead, or their team could be down to just day. So yeah, this guy is running Santa and his Yule. Why? Because you can't Odana them away, meaning you could, sure, you could uh, Odana purr away his Yule extra turn in the trait disable Santa, and now you have Taunt and Vanos, meaning you could, if you somehow got two monsters to go before Vanos, you could finally, you could AoE hit Vanos with something. Uh, maybe a blind, maybe a possess, AoE possess, that's how you would beat him. Sure, th that would be a great way to beat him, is Odana into AoE possess. Uh, my guess would be Odana into Siamis, meaning you Odana purr away Jules Megatont, then you trade disable Santa, and then you Siamis AoE CDA, and then you try to beat him up, like, his his own attack team could probably beat his defense, so yeah, like, there's a lot going on, it's definitely clever, it's definitely beatable, but those were the five teams I want to go over, and we're going to go over them again at the end on the last day of season and see what kind of changes that they've made, uh, or basically what they're running then, I'm not even really worried about the changes that they've made, but you could probably learn a lot more from actually going over what they have now, and then what they have then, and being like, okay, well, what did they make changes of, and asking, like, well, what it came out that was worth changing, like, ResBlock came out, I don't see, I see those Londra teams probably changing. So anyway, that, that's what I did with that, and that's that's keeping you up to date with uh, basically my approach on how to, how to, I guess, mine information out of that data that's there. Why? Because that data is there and allows me to click it for a reason. Uh, when I used to play Dungeon Boss, they used to have uh, last recorded videos there, meaning you could just click a button and watch their last fight, and it would show you like what they fought. They don't have this in that game, but uh, in those games, that would give you information just watching a fight, and you could see what moves they used and what order they used them in and stuff, and you could learn even more. So the next thing I want to do is see if we can maybe, just maybe, get one of these uh, quest monsters. I, I would be grateful if I could get one. So far, we got the Apex uh, Legend or whatever. Okay, what's that? she how <laughs> No, that's not the shit I need, man. All right, so let's hatch the Graken. Uh, what I'm going to do in an hour and 28 when the heist is ready, if I don't get one right here breeding again. If this one isn't the uh, mythic when the heist is ready, I'm going to remove the heist. I'm going to hatch the thun, uh, the pterodactyl fail there, and I'm just going to gem rush it, and then I'm going to... Or actually, no, I don't need to do that because I have just five... So yeah, I could just leave it there. Sorry that I even said that. I'm just going to leave it there, and I'm just going to try to breed the mythics again. 
Uh, I think I could rush this, but I think is it? I think it's nine gems if I wait eleven minutes. Uh, so the next thing that I can do is show you guys that I did top twenty-five k or top five k the Rune Lords, and I'm planning to feed to the fifteen mil for the twenty gems. I just don't know exactly where I'm going to drop the food. We did get Ignis. Um, but he has to be hatched. And I'm not hatching him until I breed the quest monster. Yeah, so I have Ignis there. Uh, and I talked about what my plans were to... My first plans to uh, test him is going to be him, Tanya, and Nora. Uh, one speed, two strength on him. Uh, one team speed, two strength on Nora. And three team speed on Tanya. It'll take me forever to get those runes, though. Uh, if I can join a Legend 4 team, I can get into where I could spend some uh, gold on the shop. But while I'm here, I can go ahead and get me one of those runes. I think this one. This one's the one we want. So I gotta go get my chest. Which, the last time I opened up a chest, we opened up one that was from an older marathon and it didn't give me what I needed, so now I gotta go find the one I need. Yeah, it's a birthday chest hiding in there, huh? Wouldn't that be crazy to pull something from? Alright, so there is my chest. And with this key, I'm going to get a rune. I don't really care what it is. You can change them for free. Probably one of the worst ones. Uh, that's a lot of gems for a chest. <laughs> what a rip. No way will I buy another one. Get out of here. Shove it up your ass, game. That was the biggest rip. Alright, so... The next thing I want to do is, since I just ranked Londra last, is I want to try this dungeon and see if we can get uh, a flash rank. Okay, it did not ask me if I wanted to flash rank Londra, and he was the last one that I ranked, so I don't know. Yeah, so they're not asking me to flash rank my Laundra, which was the last monster that I ranked, so I'm not understanding that. Alright, so since I'm not being asked to flash rank my Laundra, I'm not worried about it then. I'm going to go ahead and do what I plan to do, which is blow all my amber, so here we go. So we will finally have rank 3 Tanya tomorrow night, meaning my defense should, or not my defense, my PvP should be a little better. Uh, in three days, I'm guessing, or four days, we'll have uh, Ignis to go with it. And then I can try the team that I was talking about, minus having the runes, I think, to do that team. Uh, which brings me to the rune temple. I should be changing uh, the rune that I just got. Uh, and I think I should be changing it to a strength. Because I believe Ignis I'm going to be wearing 2 strength and a speed on. Probably a 9 speed with 2 10 strengths. So he's going to be a 9 10 10 rune monster. Let me go ahead and get in here to PvP. I have 2 eggs to open. 
Uh, last night I got 200 Tanya cells from an egg, uh, which helped with the ranking just now. Now watch me get Froma since I just started ranking Tanya. Uh, ew. Ew. Two shitty eggs. Those were rotten. I think I left them there too long or something. Uh, I have went ahead and put a third level 7 on Santa. And the reason why I went with 7s is because I think that he's going to be capped out at Grandmaster Duels. I'm going to go ahead and remove uh, the evade from Rag. He's our biggest threat. I don't even want to waste the extra turn here. Uh, I'm planning... Yeah, I still have Santa. He can't possess me. Always, always get the junk egg when you're open. Ah, uh, here we have a Vanos. Um, ten nine. Think we get to go before that. Yeah, we should be okay. Shit's pretty hard though for no strength runes being able to. AoE kill my Santa. Alright, so I want to try and get rid of Vanos, I guess. Let's see what their lives look like like this. Alright, I'm planning to kill him. So I want to daze her or brutalizer, I think. Yeah, I guess brutalizer is the one we want to daze. And then we're going to. be able to two hit Vanos I think so let's daze brutalizer hit Vanos all right so now Vanos is dead we can daze her too I don't think we can kill brutalizer we get him down to what 48 and that only does four but he would be poisoned what's his relic say We might be able to kill him too off of a poison trigger. Yeah, maybe. Hmm. She would go to 80, so. We could do 40,761. Let's try it. I mean, scared money don't make money. Let's put him lower. We did do it, and we can cleanse that away. All right, good fight. Now give me my good egg. Yay. All right, so in three hours I will have a better, better egg there. I guess I will play until I lose, and that will wrap up this night's video. Uh, another thing that I learned from... PvP that someone told me a couple of days ago that I keep forgetting to mention is that I do not have to look people up to revenge them. You can just click them. I will show that in just a second when I get out of here. Alright, so say you wanted to revenge somebody and you go to your defenses and like I was telling you, you'd have to look up like their name. You don't have to look their name up. You just click them and you can go here to profile and you can see just that quick, that easy. All right, so let's get in here and do another one. Uh, revive Vanos. Ugh. And he goes first. Wow. 
Okay. <laughs> okay. So I went until I lost. I guess I meant until I lost on defense. All right, so what do we got here? We got the protection move. Uh, plus we got all that shield. Um, I'm not sure if I can kill. I don't think I can kill the Hornet. Mm -mm. This is rough. Okay, well, that could have been way worse. I thought he was going to stun my whole team, but maybe he used that move already. I don't know. And then I guess here we just unload our whole entire everything on their attacker. Uh, so as you can see, my Santa's doing better with the one extra rune. They have double anticipate. I don't really know what we're doing here. Um, I guess Rag's the scariest of them all. Wow, I can't even kill them, man. All them life. Why can't we kill... I don't know why I can't kill this stupid hornet, then. I don't see us having a chance here, but I guess we, yeah, I'm getting out of here. Uh, here we got a chance. I guess they're going to kill my Santa in one hit again, because I just don't understand how that move does that much damage. Like, he's not water. I get that AoE is three times damage to a Megaton, but she doesn't have any speed and, like, just, I don't get it. Um, I think we unload everything on the attacker. After being damaged by a skill, they're going to heal, so probably can't even kill them. Okay, we can kill them. I swear the AI could make better moves. Like, I think if I was a, they were a human, we wouldn't be able to have our way with them like this. Uh, go for the AOE, more damage. I was going to say we wait this out, but I don't even think we have to. I should probably look for a better move. for Tanya on the last spot. But I think that's Tanya's zero cooldown move that I'm using. Like, am I really being attacked and not seeing it? What's going on? No, that happened. 
earlier. Wow. All right, so the AI used a stupid move. Um, we got to get rid of that anticipate. All right, so we can do 70,096 with that. We can't get him to 70,096, though. That's the problem. What's his relics? After being damaged by a skill, he's going to gain 36,000 armor. Ouch. Uh, so we hit him twice. Let's see where we're at. Hit him a third time and see where we're at. Okay. Very, very nice. <laughs> Except for that miss. That was a good one. Good fight. Surprised to win that. I usually would lose something like that by misplay. Uh... Again, looks like we're gonna get one shot at I guess it's because we only have ninety thousand life. Maybe if I switch one of them team speeds to uh life, we could have a better chance. All right, so I have to get rid of the Mega Taunt, or I can't do anything. Nora is immune to Daze and Blind. I have no way to really touch Nora here, but I, like, if I leave Nora alive, I don't win. Nah, I can Daze kill Nora. All right, what do we got? Nothing. You got to go twice? Get out of here. All right, 61. It's 40 next turn. We will be leaving a daze on day, I hope. We missed with the poison though. All right, do we have, we do not have any more relic triggers here. And that doesn't not do a lot of damage. I'm going to charge. Uh, here, I want to leave the AOE up. Or I mean the Megaton, I think, but I, Wish I now nah, I don't want to leave it up because he's got the damage protection, so going to risk missing. Alright, we didn't miss, that's good. I'm thinking poison. No, I'm just gonna save this stamina. We got special, are you serious? All right, another one bites the dust. I thought that my defense has been doing horrible, by the way, guys, but uh, it hasn't won but one fight in, or two fights in the past couple of days. But look, it beat 130 Vanos, 130 Harding, or Hardy, so that was pretty impressive to me. I know Mr. Beast isn't much, but I was still impressed with the beating. Hardy and Vanos. 
Uh, everybody but the attacker goes before me. This could be rough. Because a human would have just trait disabled Santa and then denied my whole team. Like, what the... Thanks, game. Thank you so much. Uh, I'm going to protect my Santa here, I think. And then just beat everything on Simon or Cyrella. Plus, I'll have the accuracy buff. Ooh. All right, so we only got to get him down to 36,000. So, yeah, he'll be dead after this hit. Yeah, he's dead. The only next one that does damage really is over here. And he's dead. Uh, my life runes are on my defense on Missouris. So it's not like I can just go grab a level 7 life rune to swap on him yet. But what I can do is level up his relic. Let me get rid of these. Alright, autofill him. Five mil food seems cool, right? Whoops, wrong amulets. Which, this is a good armor because I could end up moving it around else places. That doesn't stop the one hit, though. So, let me go to my defense team. See if I can change one of these. Yeah, that'll work. No, that won't work because I took away his damage moves. Uh, I'll leave it like that for now, I guess. I just want to see if I can get away from that one-shot Simus. Because if I can survive the one hit, then I can get heal trigger. Wormlad should definitely be team speed. I don't know why people don't have team speed Wormlad yet. All right, Uriel's Essence is banner. What will I be doing with my attacks? Trying to kill this guy? Right? Um, yeah, I guess we'll be leaving a daze on him. Alright, so we're going to be trying to leave both the last two guys dazed, I think. Just needed some misses. We got what we needed, which were misses. Uh, that life shield can actually be removed. All right. So he's in death range, but not, not unless I waste a whole turn on him. And I can't daze the dude yet. And he has Nabudo's armor. That's, that's no good for us. What do I do here? Hmm. 
Hmm. If I hit him, he'll trigger that Nabuto's armor and he's going to gain 62,000 life. I think the other move can get him though, right? Yeah, so slick. Awesome. Good fight. Hopefully I get a Simus so that I can check. I mean, I guess we're blessed this guy's got a six on. What is he doing with his runes and stuff, man? That's a 150. <laughs> he kills Santa. Okay, well, that, that Santa served his purpose then, right? Um, here. Can we remove the life regens? Who are we killing? We're killing Vanos. And that's it, really, right? We're just hoping to kill Vanos. We save our... Our purr, then. Blind the other guy that we're planning to... Yeah, I think we try to blind Josh Dubs. We just got a daze. All right, and then we just try to beat up Vanos. Since he's 150, it's probably going to take everything we own. And he's going to gain some armor. So here we go. <laughs> so we dazed the wrong guy, that's for sure. We just got beat. That sucks. Dazed the wrong guy. Maybe we would have got two different negative triggers if we went after Vanos. Uh, well, another 150 we can try again, right? Uh, this one we're screwed because they have Evade. There's absolutely nothing to do here. Going to have to kill Azul anyway. And he's going to revive him. I don't know what to do. That one we got so fortunate, I guess. Seriously?
Thankfully this guy doesn't do a bunch of damage, but I misplayed huge. I thought if you killed him, he didn't get a skill mirror trigger. But I guess not. I guess he sure does. Uh, here we just need to get rid of the brute. I don't know how with that stupid damage mirror though, so... I think we just leave him alive, maybe. I have no idea. Looks like Tanya gets to go again before he does. We could try to blind him with Tanya, that's the best I can hope for. I don't think we got it. No. Uh, this one, they've got an all strength. Wormled, so I'm going to pass the turn and force them to revive this jewel. Or not. I guess that worked out better for me. Maybe that's my new route to victory plan with that team is just leave Azul alive with the big hit. Ah, this looks real rough. Um, they have anticipate. I don't think there's a way around it. I can purr away the damage mirror, try to beat him to death, but he's got four relic triggers to get through. I don't see that happening. Uh, this has enough life to where I don't see Nora smashing it either. The only thing I can think here is... Uh, we lost. That's the only thing I can think here. Daze him, he'll miss maybe. Put a bleed on Nora. Well, he didn't miss. Uh, we got Nora dead if we can maybe daze. Brute 2 while we're here, because he's got double strength. Wow, 
it's not going at all the way we would have hoped. Uh, try to put even more negatives on that guy. Still wasn't enough. Uh, we don't have any more anticipation triggers, so I'm definitely... Fifty-four, ninety-one. It's technically possible to kill Brute through the Relic Trigger. We just have to hope this dude doesn't have all the revive moves, which he probably does. He's wearing life runes. There's nothing I can do here, really. Oh my god, he didn't. Are you kidding me? So much life, though. And 46 is exactly how much stamina he needs to revive. So we definitely got screwed there. Still think I'm going to beat him though. I don't want to risk him trying to attack me for the win. Still have a charging banner trigger. Wow. That was a tough one. Ah, uh, this should be easy. Let's just trait disable him. Days, uh, brute. Get rid of his damage mirror. Check his relics. He just has morgues, which is all out of juice, and Titus, which is or Titus, which is all out of juice. Uh, he only has one strength rune. I don't know what that means, but he's fast as shit. Alright, so... We try to leave everybody alive, but Vanos? Or kill everybody but Thanos, I mean. Get rid of this dude first. Um, let's just go ahead and try to blind him, but I don't think we were successful. No, we weren't. And then let's see if we can kill this daggone Graken. Alright, so, since he doesn't have evade, I think I want to daze him and then kill Graken. I 
All right. I think we're in big trouble. Maybe I can get him to put his evade up. Or not his, yeah, his evade uh, pierce. Nope. Yeah, we did. We got him to do exactly that. All right, so let's beat this guy to death. Hopefully. I think he dies from the bleed trigger if we do it that way. Oh man, talk about sweet, sweet. Was he a 150? No, he was only 130. But I think we beat a 150 somewhere on here, didn't we? No, we lost to a 150 twice. Uh, this looks rough. But she didn't kill my Santa in one hit. Santa still died, though. I don't really think I have much to be doing here other than trying to kill the revive monster first. Gotta get him down to 61k for that to happen though. When the turn starts, eh? Well, thank you guys. Thank you so much. God bless you for helping me out. Let me read his relics. Make sure he doesn't have anything that heals him. Alright, so he's dead from the poison trigger. And now we can put everything in on her. Actually, he's not even going to get his turn. Talk about AI helping me win. So we're at eight fifty one. I think that's as high as I've been since the tournament started. Okay, so this one's definitely killing my Santa. And she's still got the AO E possess in her tool bag. Um so we go for the blind on Kraken. It's sort of like our only way to win this. We didn't get it. We got beat. All right, so the first Ignis shows up. And they went with all speed. I don't know what that means, but uh, I know I want to be getting rid of the guy who can kill me, and I can't because he goes. Well, at least he got the. Thankfully, that's not a different tank. <laughs> we got to go all in on trying to kill this guy. Wow, man, talk about a beast. Can't do anything about that guy's trait, nothing.
So this way I can put a daze on both of them. That gives me the highest chance of victory, I think. And I just put him as low as possible. Wow, tell me it's working. Uh, we go for more blinds and days on this guy, right? Hmm. Or do we get rid of the, the vulnerable on Tanya might make the AI target her, more likely to target her? I still don't think we have enough damage to kill the dude with all the life runes. But he will be dazed again. Ooh. Alright, so he's dazed. The other one's spending his turn charging. Thirty-nine fifty-one. Oh my gosh, he's dead. Thank goodness. Are you kidding? We had that. He cheated. You guys seen it. He cheated. He specialed with no stanima. That was cheating. I worked hard for that fight. To get cheated out of it. Uh, thankfully there's no team speeds here. But it doesn't look like it matters. It looks like I lost. Try to blind. Nothing. Uh, this one looks rough too. Evade trigger. Can't do anything. Unless my Nora can kill Rag in one hit, which it can't. And we're TD. He can pass turn. It's rough. to work with here I have to blind Kraken because if I don't uh, yeah that's it we're gonna get out of here I was just unlucky even, oh, okay, it's finally, it's over. That's it for PvP tonight. Alright guys, so thanks to everyone who watches my channel, that's what I'm up to. I can go ahead and try one last time. See if we got him, did we get him, what is this? It's take a long time to load, maybe it's him. What is it? Monkey, it's not him. Son of a bee. 34 minutes, I'll find out again. All right, so thanks to everyone who's been watching the channel. Uh, this was a long one, but uh, I've had been asked for some PvP content, so there it was. Uh, that's close to an hour of PvP content. Uh, and we didn't play horribly. We didn't have a poor attitude, so maybe it can give a better showing. Uh, and in the next couple of days, we're going to have some changes to our team. So, later.